Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Good news, bad news. Uh, let's go with good news. Got another Mark 12, little SPR build. Not totally clone correct. This one right here is a Mod H. The Mod H is a 16 inch barrel versus the other ones are 18 inch barreled. 16 inch barreled with the carbon fiber handguard with a collapsible B5 stock. So it is your standard size and condensed AR-15, but of course, you know, specialized for some long range. So it's not clone correct, a Mod H. I did a decent amount of clone correct stuff. It's built by PRI um, with the right, you know, AE M5 suppressor that I've used on the other stuff. I spray painted it green to be different, so it'll be fun to see it wear. I got a little Vortex Viper PST Gen 1, two and a half to 10 on here with the arms rings. Um, no need to do a full rundown because you guys on Instagram already know about this gun, but this is the first time Facebook and YouTube have seen it. So, uh, Let's start off on a good note. This is the first time I'm shooting it at any kind of distance. I did a rough zero just a little bit ago. And if I miss, I'm going to feel it. It's a pretty penny. I'm shooting some uh, Black Hills. This is 77 grain tipped Match King. That's what I zeroed it with. Uh, 2.6 mils and 1.1 for wind. 2.6 for elevation. Should be what it does right now at 455 yards. If we have good luck here, we're going to go ahead and extend it just under 700 yards. That's all we could do today, but we got quite... Uh, quite some winds. Well, that was a poor example, but we got quite some winds down there. So let's see what we could do. All right, that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. See you guys next time. We're done. Is that really though? No, we got a first round hit though. That's cool. Yeah, All right. I was gonna say, nice shot. Sweet. Oh, uh, that was left. All right, more winds than I thought. All oh, right. Way right. Okay, that wind died. I can't tell. Oh, those were low. That was tough to tell. Oh, come on. All right, well, that's pretty fun. Uh, we had good luck there. I felt the wind start dying sooner, so I started holding over a little bit less. I'm on zero for windage. I'm just trying to hold over, and 2.6 seemed to be true for the elevation. So if all stays true, let's see what happens at 686 yards. This should be a pretty good time, too. All right, just load up with the ETSB loader. Appreciate their support on the channel. So we've got about 10 shots in here at 686 yards. Might have forgot to mention earlier today, good news is of course a new gun bad news is unconventionally short video not going to be doing the traditional blowing stuff up and all that stuff possibly address that later i was just curious i wanted to shoot this regardless i figured i'd make a video out of it because people on instagram have been telling me to feature it some more because again it hasn't been shown on video just only on instagram so you guys kept requesting to see it so we're just doing this again personally wanted to see what it could do bring the cameras along 5.5 mils let's see what that does and if I guess it's 10 miles an hour, that should be two mils off to the right. So let's see what happens. Damn. Oh, well, that was a good string, but I always have to end on a hit, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have to spend the coin on one more box here and tell you what, I'm just gonna put one in the mag. I just gotta end on a hit, that's what I do, but 
That, I could already tell you guys that this gun, as of right now, is uh, more accurate than me. It's just my fault on reading the, ring, uh, the wind wrong. And that's why I like shooting these conditions, but to prove a gun on YouTube, not the best. But I could just tell this gun is, as of right now, far more accurate than me. I just have to do my part. Let's just see if we could get uh, one in the chamber and uh, hit, end it off. Cool. Yeah, well, pretty strong winds today. It seems like it seems, I don't know, going from three-ish to 12-ish, but it's kind of sporadic and it's not really what's going on here. So studying the wind is something that's gonna take a lot of practice on my end. Here it is kicking up again. But this is quite a cool gun. And that's an understatement. It might be one of my favorite semi-autos now just for how much I like long range shooting and a 5.56 will certainly get the job done. 686 yards, not the best conditions. It could be worse but it's already showing its potential. This gun, as of right now, maybe has definitely under 100 rounds through it. It's probably getting to about 100 rounds, so it's only gonna get more accurate. And uh, later on, I'll kind of group it, see what it likes, but this uh, Black Hill stuff is uh, no slouch, as you can see. But cool setup. If you guys want some more details, I'll put it in the description. Otherwise, check out Instagram. But let me, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll probably feature it again some more, but pretty cool gun. That does it for this short video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Take care.